Ugh. Hello, everybody. We're on the ground once again. Welcome back to Universe for Sale. It always starts like this, doesn't it? We're always on the ground. I actually don't know if we... I think we might only have one more area that we can actually go to. I think it might be this one. Uh, first, let's go this way. Double check this. Make sure there's nothing else over here. Last time was really fun, though. I liked the flying car and grabbing those things. Um, but considering how this game goes from drinking tea to violent rebellion, then back to picking plants, I'm worried for what might be awaiting us, but only time will tell. So let's go the only way we can. Ooh. Huh. Okay, nothing to touch. Oh. Mm hmm. Out of the way! What? Uh-oh, what's going- Oh my god! Okay. That ship in the background right there is cool. Uh, where else can I go? What's this? Willing orangutan wanted to capture local fauna. Huh. Wait, is this before the thing we did last time? Oh, this is an, a place! What's in here? Huh. Who are you? What did you think you were doing out there? Were you trying to get yourself killed? Uh, where am I? I know it sounds like a strange question, but where am I? Listen, pal, I have no time to waste on drunks. You'll be sure to find something to sober up in the market square. I have work to do here. Who are you? Continuing to bother them. Excuse me if I may sound disrespectful, but may I ask your name? Why do I always seem to be a magnet for crackpots who want to talk to me? Sorry if I don't waste my breath and chatter, but I need to finish welding this speedster's converter. Call me when you need someone to stitch together that scrap heap of the ship you've got. A rotting antique that wouldn't fetch the price of a dead cow if you ask me. Ow. So are you some sort of mechanic? Um, yeah, of course I'm a mechanic. You must be a genius or something. Name's Udina. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be left to my work. I'd be grateful if you went to bother someone else. But I'm looking for someone. I'm bothering you still. You can't get rid of me. Excuse me, I'm looking for a girl named Lila. Do you happen to know her? Lila? Let me think about it. You mean the girl that makes those colorful bubbles? If by colorful bubbles you mean self-contained universes. Whatever. Bubbles, worlds, universes, that kind of thing. I don't concern myself with these matters. Anyhow, you can find her in the eastern arm. Turn right at the energy tower. If you see Hinon's tea house, it means you went the wrong way. Alright, I will see you later. Thank you. Thanks, Anne. Good work. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll get out of your hair. Wait, so what is my ship? Because apparently it's garbage. Is that my ship? But I like that ship. Well, whatever my ship is, I love it just the way it is. As long as it's not broken. In which case, it needs to be fixed. Let's go this way. Huh. Interesting. We got a lot of people around here this time around. Better not to disturb. Oh, are they talking? What about you? Okay. Okay, can't talk to you. I could talk to you two. Oh, hello! What's that thing? Hello, didn't we already meet? Who? Us? Never seen your ugly face in my whole life, I would remember. Oh, I'm sorry to have bothered you. I know you want them, but you can't have them. Not my precious Lomri. Never. Lomri? Uh, and what would a Lomri be, exactly? You uneducated peasant! How can the noble mini mixture of otters and foxes be unknown to you? Okay, that does sound pretty cute. I am stealing them, actually. They are the only non-primate mammals with terrestrial ancestors out there. The only ones adapted to climate in the Jovian colonies. The waxy coating of their fur allows to repel even the strongest acids that attack the colony. Their skeletons and muscles are dense but flexible, easily withstanding the massive gravitational pull of gas giants. They are so elastic that they appear as if made out of rubber. 
These small mammals are truly impressive. Ugh, bring your sarcasm somewhere else. Okay. What about Lila? Excuse me, do you happen to know a certain Lila? She should be living around these parts. Eh, who? No, I don't know anything. Be gone now. Alright. I apologize if I bothered you. Go away. <laughs> Nobody wants to be my friend. What's this thing right here? Ooh, why is there an X mark on this? Oh, it's showing where I am. Gotcha. What about you? This is Magritte 2003 at your service. I was created to inform the peoples of Earth about impending catastrophes, highlighting critical issues, and finding practical solutions on my own. What would you like to know? Uh, life on Earth? What can you tell me about life on Earth? For too long, the inhabitants of Earth indulged in their vices to the fullest. The levels of CO2 rose so high that around the year 3000, the planet became an uninhabitable desert. Fortunately, in the meantime, they built robots like me, capable of providing solutions to their problems. And here we are on Jupiter, brother. Repeating the same mistakes, of course. Oh, couldn't that end be avoided? As soon as we were created, we immediately said what needed to be done, but they told us it was unpopular stuff. Have fewer children, eat less meat, abolish cars and air travel, consume less technology, and abolish capitalism, thereby leveling inequalities. Simple, no? But what did the Earthlings prefer to do? Leave the planet. Now the Earth is practically uninhabited. Practically? Disasters in the universe? What disasters do you predict in the universe? In about 244,000 years, a black hole will swallow this solar system. But I predict that much sooner, the time travels of some reckless individuals will lead to a quantum paradox reversing events. Are you talking about me? Because I think I might be stuck in some kind of time loop. Keep going to different places where things happened before other things and people don't remember me. Bringing everything back to the beginning of time and erasing existence. Yikes. Uh, life on the colony? What disasters await the Jupiter colony? I predict the potential impact of 344 asteroids within the next 20 years, all potentially destructive. Acid rain will soon corrode every segment of the colony. The shields are damaged beyond repair. The Demetarium curtains are not enough to solve the problem. For example, the one above my head will tear in 10, 9, 8... Oh no! Um, well, certainly prophetic. Is he dead? Oh no. Poor guy. He just wanted to help. Well, that's a, a yikes. Let's go this way. If we went, if we find the tea house, we went the wrong way. That's what we were told. So let's keep walking. Oh, it is the tea house. So we did go the wrong way. Huh, but it's closed. Interesting. I want to go back in there. It was so cozy and nice, and that's where we met Lila the first time. Or maybe not. I don't know how this time is working. What about this way? Maybe we can find something over here. Lila! Make your personal universe. Excuse me, can you explain what it is you sell? Um, yes, of course. I sell handmade universes. Ooh, what a curious thing! How would that work? Uh, so you just tell me what type of universe you'd like, and I will try to make one as close to that as I can. Awesome! But I wouldn't know what to ask you. Okay. Listen, I can guide you through it. First, you should choose a cup that you like among these. Ooh. Wait, which cups do we have? That one, that one. Hmm, I like this one. Yes, that one! Good. Now choose two ingredients with which to make your infusion. They will determine the basic properties of your universe. Intriguing! Um, what ingredients do we have? Ah! We've got blue, red, purple, yellow. Ooh, I want yellow and purple. That's such a good combo. Beautiful. After that, we stir... And we extrapolate a universe from the liquid. And here we have our universe. Ooh! Wow! 
Now we can give it any shape we want. Uh... And when we're satisfied, we can go and see what it looks like inside. Uh, let's look. Oh my! Mama, aspiring god of creation, Mama said life was like a box of universes. Ah, achievements. This universe is extremely rich in energy and teeming with life. It's so energetic that living beings don't need to eat or move for substance. In fact, they're equipped to absorb everything they need from their surrounding environment, effortlessly floating and moving around. This fortune allows them to focus entirely on developing their intellect, acquiring telekinetic and metaphysical powers. Wow, it's incredible! Thanks for the wonderful experience! Now if you want it... Oh? It's 14 credits. Um, but I don't have a single credit. Then why did you make me waste my time? I, I, I'm sorry? Leave! Now! Sup, so, we meet again. How you doing? Um, good day. Do you remember me, or are we in a time where you don't remember me? And what do you want? I saw you before, staring at us. Uh, it was interesting. I couldn't prevent myself from listening. It was really interesting. If it was, clearly it's not enough for the sophisticated tastes of this mud hole. In any case, what can I do for you? Your mother! <laughs> um... Oh, am I trying to get her to remember? This should go over well. Nothing much, I just wanted to let you know I really appreciate you opening up with me. Regarding your mother and all the rest, it was touching. Oh yeah, on top of the windmill. M my mother? When did I tell you anything about her? So you don't remember. What in Nohiak's name are you talking about? You... You don't remember? It was just yesterday. Look, yesterday I had a long night. I'm a still bit topsy-turvy. I must have forgotten. But you seem familiar. Can you remind me where you're from? I... I'm just a visitor here on Jupiter. I've been traveling so long that it would be hard to explain where I'm from. Okay, if you want to remain mysterious, suit yourself. You wouldn't be the first to come to Jupiter to hide from your past. So annoying. Forgive my rudeness, that guy from before really soured my morning. Besides, I need to buy a new battery for the shields. If I don't change it soon, the acid rain will end up destroying my house. You really don't remember? Oh, the battery. Where can you find that type of battery? In the market. Tomoto, that stingy merchant, always has some to sell. If you like, I can accompany you to get it. Perhaps you could show me around. Accompanying me? I'm not sure. I don't even know who you are. I'm new around here. I could really use a guide. Someone I can trust. I insist. Uh, okay, if that suits you. I'm not in the mood for work anyways. Follow me. Alright, off we go. It's sad that she doesn't remember us. Oh, is this the stingy merchant? No, it's not. That guy's dead. Nobody seems to care. Ooh. Very cool. Look at all that. Oh, Capade, this kimono is just lovely. Where did you find it? Thanks, Lila. You're always too kind. It just came with the shipment from Venus. Very high quality fabrics. Who's your friend there? Nice to meet you. Eh, oh, yeah, this guy. I don't know. He just showed up at my stall. Oh, well, thanks. I mean, you're not wrong, but thanks. A mysterious individual, I gather. What's his name? Um, yes, I forgot to ask. What do they call you? I have no name. I'm continuing to be mysterious. I... Wait a second. I'm sorry. I remember now. What? He's a master. Lila, don't you remember what Beatrix was saying the other day? I probably wasn't paying attention. This cultist stuff doesn't really interest me much. Yes, B was explaining that in the Cult of Detachment, when adepts attain the level of masters, they renounce even their very names. 
Renouncing one's name is the last step of detachment from the material world, correct? I couldn't have put it better in better words. Uh-huh, whatever you say. Anyway, put that kimono aside for me, will you? Now I need to go pick up a battery from Tomoto. I don't know how much he'll try to extort from me, but I'll buy that dress from you if I have anything left. Will do. Okay, so where's Tomoto? Oh, that way. Who are you? Good day, sir. Can I ask you what you're doing? Good day to you, too. Well, I'm sewing up these drapes. Probably a simplified explanation, I guess. Name's Utak, the colony's master drape stitcher. Pleased to meet you. So you're saying all those colorful tents draped across the every street and alley are you're doing? That's right. You'd probably know it already, but these drapes are essential to protect the colony from acid rain. The deflector shields should take care of it, but their tech is ancient. No one's done any maintenance on them for ages. Maybe someone should? That might help. With time, they've weakened. The drapes act as stopgaps as they lose power. Not a real solution, but that's all we can afford here on Jupiter. Could you explain to me how they actually work? You see, they're not simple rags. The tissue's microstructure has hydro-repellent properties. It makes so that the drops of liquid never really come into direct contact with the tissue, which remains dry. Next, they get vaporized by an intense ionic beam produced by an intricate network of tiny electric cables. Impressive. Did you invent them? Oh, no. I wish I had. It's a century-long tradition, you see. I'm just the last in a long line of drape stitchers. I'm training my little Chitar in the arts so she can become the next in the line to keep the drape stitching tradition alive once I'm gone. I understand. Is she around this trainee of yours? Unfortunately, no. These days she's been visiting the Temple of the Cult. She finds a lot of interest in the things you people do. I hope she comes back soon. There's a lot of work to be done. If I see her, I'll let her know you were looking for her. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Alright, I'll see you later. Interesting. Kind of sucks though, doesn't it? They really, really need help. And like, they need to fix these shields, but it doesn't seem like anyone will. Or maybe nobody knows how to. What about you? Hello, what are you selling here? Plants. I see. Are there a lot of plant varieties on Jupiter? Probably not with the acid rain. No. I understand. It doesn't look like a very hospitable place for plant life. Indeed. As a matter of fact, almost all you see here is imported. I see. Then what plants do grow on this planet? Wait, isn't this the alleyway that we were walking through at the beginning of the game? I feel like I recognize it. Well, Podla is a creeping vine that attaches itself to the wind turbines. Chal is a kind of leafless trunk that grows a bit everywhere. Looks a bit like a rock, so it's hard to notice. Then you have Koyala. It grows next to the reactors that keep the colony afloat. And then there's Muna. Not really a plant, but a fungus. That's my favorite Pokemon. I don't know where it grows, but you can often see its spores drifting outside the shields. Thanks, very interesting. Heh, <laughs> you're welcome. He's like, someone interested? Best robot. What are they doing? Better not to disturb. Is this the person we need to talk to? What about you? Um, let's talk to you. Look at all this stuff! Vastu always has all sorts of oddities. I always stop to browse. Oh, that's why we stopped. Pity not having the money to buy one. I'll make you a deal. If you choose one and let me tell you its story, I'll give it to you as a gift. Oh! Oh, I petted a cat? What? Oh, I petted the cat! How did you even mean to do that? <laughs> I was looking at these. Okay, so we've got a fish. A crown? And what looks like a Daruma, which is interesting. Oh, oh, they have little... Hmm. I can't read that. Uh, let's go with the Daruma. This one. Ah, that is a quantum Daruma! Daruma are traditional statuettes from the old Earth. They're large heads without arms or legs. From what I know, they represent the patriarch of an old and forgotten belief system. When you obtain one, you must set your mind in an objective, and an eye will open on its face. The other eye will open when the objective is reached. It helps you focus your will. Oh, that's cool! How is it able to know if the objective has been reached? I have no idea. The guy I bought them from told me they have a quantum battery inside. They're advanced pieces of technology. I believe it may have some form of omniscient consciousness. Ooh, very interesting. Thanks. 
I have one in my house. Saw it the other day and couldn't prevent myself from buying it. Thanks, Vastu. We'll be on our way then. Don't mention it. See you. Oh, I like you. I like your shop. You're cool. Wait, where are you going? There's still one more shop to look in. Ooh. Looks mean. What about you? Greetings, lost soul. Would you be interested in buying a servant straight from the assembly line? Uh, no. Servant? You got that right. Here we sell multi-purpose protocol droids. Original and with the church's original stamp of approval. Wait, my church or the other church? Wait, I don't think I- No, I'm a cult. I don't have a church. What's that beeping? Church. Are they all produced by the Church of Many Gods? Well, obviously, sir. Dictated by the current laws, the creation of a robot not specifically authorized by the Church is not permitted under any circumstances. Why? Why? It's a question of security, obviously. Droids are without doubt useful servants, but they can also potentially become deadly weapons. You'll understand, then, why it's vital that every single droid is closely monitored and strictly controlled by the Church. So that the worst consequences of a rogue droid are avoided. Aw, poor droids. I'm just thinking of that poor one who just wanted to help and got melted by acid. What are these droids able to do? Whatever you need them to do, sir. Transport heavy loads, take care of animal husbandry, water your plants, and many other chores. As long as it's all been approved by the church, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. Alright, well, see ya. I don't need anything else, thanks. Gods protect you. How do I get- Is that why you called me a lost soul? Because I'm in the cult and I don't- I'm not in the church? Perhaps. Ooh. There's a lot of things over here, too. Oh, this is the hallway! I, rec I recognize that X on the- the p portrait. Who are you? Wait a minute. Are you hungry? My treat. Yes! Yes, why- why not? Even if I don't really have a stomach anymore. I detached from it many years ago. Well, I'll get myself a ramen before going to Tomodo. Every time I talk with him, I lose my appetite. You do you. I'll try something just for the taste of it. I don't have a tongue, do I? Lila, dear. The usual? This time I'll make his detached stomach decide. I wouldn't want the food to screw with his digestion. Well, some variety can't hurt. The menu's up there. I'm here if you've got any questions. Thanks. Ooh, okay, we've got... Podla, flowers, or, uh, Slimer. Um... Let's go with Slimer. I'll have this one. Sweet Chal Resin Broth Ramen. Excellent choice. Lila, should I get you the same? Yeah, all good. I don't particularly mind. Here it is. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you okay? You seem nervous. Nervous? You really are strange. What does that mean? I don't know. Doesn't it seem strange to you that you're asking me these things even if we barely know each other? It's a bit awkward. I didn't mean it that way. Sorry, actually I don't even know why. Why what? Well, first, why did I even let you accompany me to the market? There must be part of her that remembers, right? Remembers all the things we've done together? It doesn't make any sense. Normally, I don't even go there with my friends. I tend to go there alone. With you, instead, it seemed... natural. Hmm. Ready. Thanks, Kana. So... I don't know why, but at this point, it seems easier to talk with you than my friends. Why? I don't want to say I'm glad. <laughs> Why? Actually, it's strange. Maybe I remind you of someone. I've been told I'm a person that people find easy to talk to. I have no idea why. I'm not sure your charisma is the reason. Yeah, I have low charisma. I put all of my points into intelligence. You know, you do realize you have a floating skull instead of a normal head, right? This isn't a point in my favor, I guess. Don't tell me that among your cultist powers you also happen to be a hypnotist. I wish. It would be amazing. It would solve so many problems. But no, I don't possess powers of that kind. Hmm. 
Maybe one day I'll come to the cultist temple to see the powers of the cult with my own eyes. In that case, I'll be your guide if you allow me. Aw. We'll see. Come on, let's head to Tomoto's so we can be done with this. Tomoto? He doesn't seem to be behind his stall. What? And where did he go? I think I've seen him in the main square. The archbishop is giving a sermon. Maybe Tomoto has started to follow the church. Don't be ridiculous. Tomoto may be a disgusting human being, but a mindless god worshipper is he's not. You don't like the followers of the church? Not in the slightest. Their leaders are greedy autocrats, and the followers are just sheep. You cultists are at least are decent folk. Happy to hear. Mm, okay, let's go then. Oh, we're going that way? Oh, maybe we're going in a big circle. Hang on, I gotta go in here. I've gotta talk to everyone and touch everything. Oh, it's empty in here. Oh, is this Tomoto's place? Maybe. Alright, well, he's not in there, so... Oh my! REPENT! Oh, good grief. Brothers and sisters, the gods are here to sustain you! Every one of them is your savior! Laboris protects you from the perils of work. Familiara watches over your family when you're not there to keep it safe. The Armorous Twins are always protecting you from your sinful thoughts. What a hassle. Look there, it's Tomoto. He seems to be talking to a droid. Oh, it is him. Let's go fetch him. Repent from your sins! Huh. Oh, is that the church in the distance? It's curious to see a cathedral around here. It looks so out of out of place compared to everything else. Hey, Tomoto. You dumb piece of tin. Do you understand what I'm saying? I apologize if my service has left you unsatisfied. Let me know if I can be of any further service. Service? You took down the power in my shop. Part of the power has been rerouted for the experiments of the Holy Church. And what kind of experiments would they be? This information is restricted. Is there any further information that you need? Stupid piece of junk. Hey, Tomoto, can you stop bothering that poor droid? You know it's not its fault if it can't help you. Give me back my power! This is not possible for the time being. Please notify me if you need to know more. Um... Let it be? Mr. Tomoto, just let the droid be. It's clear as day you're wasting your breath. There, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Because, I mean, it's a robot. It's, it's literally programmed. It's not- I don't think it's a sentient droid, but even if it is, it doesn't seem like it can access that information. And who would you be? Your death. You! Right there, you bony heretic! Ah, oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Listen, man, I'm just trying to have a day out with my friends. Are you talking to me? You cultists, you have no respect. Such outrageous boldness coming to spew your lies even during a sermon. No, 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 no. Have you no shame? The people of this place suffer every day and you fill their heads with even more suffering. I, I, I didn't. Don't worry, we were just leaving. You'd better. Ah, fuck you. Going to pay for this. Who, me? Me? Huh? Hi, robot. The Archbishop doesn't appreciate your presence during the sermon. Please leave the square. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh, the little guy's following me. That's why there's a little guy. Look at him, he's following me around. Okay, let me pet you now that I can see you. Aww. Good little guy. An otter and a fox mix. It's beautiful. So, So, what do you want? Give me a full charge battery for the drapes, tomato. Or tomato, not tomato. You got it. It's 40 credits. What? Usually they're 15! Those tin heads took the power away. Without power, I can't recharge the batteries. These are from the stockpile in my warehouse, and obviously they fetch a higher price. Tomoto, do I look like I'm made of money? And one, from one moment to the next, my tents will lose power. My house will disintegrate. Not my problem. Take it or leave it. Can I help? 
There must be another way to meet the costs. Is there anything we can do? Well... What do you want, Rust Bucket? Lila, don't you see I'm discussing with your friend? Listen, it's not the first time they took my energy. I have no doubt of that. The simplest solution is to rewire the electric cables that go from the main square to the energy booster. Oh yeah, and that's not gonna get me in trouble at all. I've done it way too many times, and now they're keeping an eye on me, and Lila's too short to reach the cables. But your friend is a... Um... New face, and no one would ever doubt the good intentions of a cultist. He'll surely go unnoticed if he just so happens to touch some cables. Here's the deal. Give me back my energy, and I'll give you the battery. Free of charge. This is not right! But deal. If it's a deal, then I'll be happy to help you. Excellent. I suppose I need to thank you. Uh, you don't have to. I get annoyed when people are jerks to me. Alright, do we have to go? I think I've spoken to everyone, so I think I have to go back to the square now. I need to get to these wires. Okay, what am I doing? Hmm. Oh, I see. Am I... Did that work? I think it's still dark in here. Follow the red cable that snakes out of my shop. Five derivation boxes before getting to the main square. Open the boxes, look where the cable goes, and if it changes color, then flick the entry and the exit switches. Once the cables are reconnected, head to the energy tower and start the font bold energy transfer. Once you're done, come back to get the battery. Understood? Do you need me to explain it again? Uh, no need. I don't think it was explained to me before, but I, I understand now. Follow the red cable. Ah, we've got this one. Huh. There we go. That one. Oh, they're broken. Hmm. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna assume that that's what I have to do. There we go. And this one. That goes up, snakes up there, boom. Energy should be back to Tomoto, let's see. We're gonna get in trouble. Look at that beautiful light. You have my sincerest thanks, my new friend. Don't call me your friend. Fork over the battery, Tomoto. Yes, it's 15 credits. Hey, you said free! Tomoto, we had a deal. Besides, it's in your best interest to help us. True, we could snitch. You know, the Archbishop is right there in the square. I wonder how interested he would be in a certain energetic reappropriation. Okay, okay, can't blame me for trying. Take the battery and leave my shop. Always a pleasure doing business with you. Snatched. Thanks for the help. It's better if I head home to attach this battery now. No problem. It's been a pleasure. Do you mind if I walk with you? I don't see why not. Let's go together. Please tell me we don't have to pass the Archbishop. I don't think they like me very much. Here we are. Uh-oh, it's raining. It's raining cats and dogs! The colony shields must have completely failed. Should we wait here a bit? Oh, but her house! Yes, maybe it's best. 
Shame it's too toxic. I like when it rains. Me too. I find it pleasant. The sound of rain is very relaxing. I love it. At least, as long as I'm not under it. Seems reasonable. You know, that sensation of being safe, protected, and at the same time, just one step from chaos. It reminds me of when I was on my parents' ship. My bed used to be next to one of the observation portholes. Just a thin layer of glass separated me from the cold of space. Exciting. The fear of death made you feel more alive? I don't think it was that. It wasn't exciting, just comfortable. What's that? Hmm? It's my notebook. What are you drawing? If you don't mind me asking. Are those sketches? Who are they? They're just random doodles. Feel free to give it a look. It doesn't bother me. Ooh. Oh, the universes! How cool! Are these your universes? Yeah. When I find a new interesting combination, I note it down. This one, for example, stems from the combination of Rust and Musk. I discovered it the other day. How strange. Is something not right? Yes, I mean, no. It's just that I don't remember taking this note. Well, it can happen. I often forget things. I know, but this feels different. A strange sensation. I remember why I did it, the thoughts that led to it, the emotions I was experiencing at the time. But then, if you do remember, where's the problem? I don't remember when. I know it's in the past, some day ago. But it feels like... Like that memory of laying beside that porthole in space. Like a good memory? No, a memory so distant you have to struggle to reconstruct it in your mind. As if it was another person who did it, and that person were telling it to you this every time you remember it. It feels like I didn't write this note. As if... as if it was written by someone else. I'm not sure I understand. Neither do I. Is it another version of her? Since we seem to be in some strange time flippity floppity. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I'm just a bit tired. I should head home. This rain doesn't seem to be letting up. If I don't go back now, I'll have no house to go back to. I can accompany you there. No, thanks, but I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Okay. Will we see each other again? Sure, I'll see you tomorrow night. Now I've got to go. Wait, where? The tea house? See you at... I'll book. What? It was the tea house. So everything's all mishmashed. All of these different memories we're seeing. They're connected but disconnected at the same time. Well, very, very interesting. I'm excited to see where this goes. I know that there's more that happens after this, probably. I saw a little bit of the next scene when I was moving to the menu. But I think we're going to save that for next time. We went on a shopping trip. Things seem to be a little odd with our memory or with Lila's memory and with whatever's going on with the time traveling that we might or might not be doing. Especially after what that predictor bot said. But we'll worry about that all next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself. Watch out for breaking drapes and have a good day.